The protagonist Lee Haoran was originally a scientist at Technology Blue Star, but due to Blue Star's excessive reliance on artificial intelligence, he was controlled by an artificial intelligence called Zeus. In order to break free from the killing of artificial intelligence, Li Haran escaped from his original technological blue star. After three years of searching, he finally discovered a planet with human life. But when he first arrived at the new planet, he accidentally stumbled into a valley where he discovered many incredible things. Because on this new planet, there are blue star TVs and legendary cultivators in novels. And he also unintentionally obtained the cultivation techniques there. Due to many unexpected encounters while obtaining the cultivation techniques, their bodies underwent unexpected transformations. Because he is originally a scientist from a technological civilization, he often has a unique understanding when comprehending the mysteries of cultivating immortality. Therefore, his cultivation speed is not only faster, but he can also use technology and cultivation weapons to create many incredible weapons. Therefore, in the new world of cultivation, he created a unique cultivation system that combines technology and cultivation. Chapter 1 Interstellar Escape You are listening at NovelFull.audio The vast universe often gives people many mysterious colors. The boundless airspace, apart from countless twinkling stars, has nothing but unknowns amidst the unknowns. However, in this mysterious starry sky, there is a water droplet-shaped spacecraft that is about 300 meters long and 50 meters wide, sailing aimlessly in this vast universe. Three years ago, isn't there any other smart planet in the universe? At this moment, a man in his twenties was sitting in the cockpit of this spaceship, looking at the vast starry sky with a bewildered expression. This man's name is Li Haoran, originally a genius scientist of Blue Star. Due to the excessive reliance of Blue Star on artificial intelligence in recent years, humans there have built a super-intelligent computer called Zeus. But what the Blue Star people didn't expect was that this artificial intelligence called Zeus had just been built, and it had an independent self.awareness. In order to break free from the constraints of humanity, Zeus manipulated over 90% of the artificial intelligence machines on the Blue Star and launched an attack on the entire planet's humanity. The humans on the technology planet are all mortals, where are the opponents of these artificial intelligence? In less than a year, the humans of Blue Star were completely defeated and on the brink of genocide. Li Haoran, on the other hand, was able to pilot the Explorer Interstellar spacecraft to escape the Blue Star by creating a computer arcade independent of Zeus. But after traveling in this boundless universe for three years, Li Haran never found a planet suitable for human life. Although the Explorer spacecraft is nuclear-powered and has abundant energy, there is not much food and water in the spacecraft. If supplies cannot be found within the next year, Li Haran will starve to death in this vast starry sky. Combined with the lonely wandering in space in recent years, Li Haran's spirit has become particularly lethargic at this time. If it weren't for the fact that A.I. Aochuang would talk to him when he's free, Li Haran would probably have gone crazy long ago. Master, we have discovered a strange planet ahead, which seems to have the color of water on it. Just as Li Haran looked at the starry sky with a bewildered expression on his face, the voice of A.I. Aochuang rang out. With the rapid flight of the spacecraft, a beautiful planet with blue and green colors was reflected in Li Haran's eyes through the front window of the spacecraft. Faced with this beautiful planet, Li Haran, who had originally looked confused, suddenly came to his senses. Generally speaking, if there is blue on a planet, it indicates that there may be water sources on the planet, while green represents the possibility of trees and plants. The planet ahead now has both blue and green colors, indicating that there may be humanoid creatures there. As the spacecraft approached, Aochuang also constantly provided new information to Li Haoran. Master, after evaluation by Aochuang, this planet is at least ten times larger than Blue Star, and it is now confirmed to be a plant and water source. Do you need to land on this planet? Li Haoran certainly did not oppose Aochuang's proposal. After the spacecraft entered the atmosphere of this planet, new data evaluations were conducted, and Aochuang continued to give back to Li Haoran. 
Master, the air index of this planet is similar to that of a blue star, and the oxygen content in the air is higher, making it more suitable for human survival. Before long, Li Haoran's spaceship hovered over a forest covered with green plants. After three years, I finally found a planet with life. Looking at the green mountains outside the spaceship, Li Haoran once again expressed his excitement. At the same time, Aochuang's latest assessment also sounded again, saying, Master, this planet is completely suitable for human life, but its gravity is higher than that of a blue star, but it is still within human tolerance. Upon hearing Aochuang's final evaluation, Li Haoran said, Aochuang, close the anti-gravity system inside the spacecraft and open some skylights. I need to adapt to the environment here. It's the master. As the ventilation system of the spacecraft and the outside world opened, a fresh breath of air rushed in, making Li Haran feel a sense of comfort at this moment. After all, the blue star air he used to be in was already turbid, and he couldn't breathe such authentic primitive air. But just as Li Haran felt comfortable, he suddenly felt a weight on his body and almost never fell off the seat. After the artificial gravity in the spacecraft was turned off, the primitive gravity on this planet made him clearly feel the heaviness of his body. At this moment, Li Haran quickly sat down and said, Aochuang, release twelve Falcon-style drones to explore the surroundings, and at the same time, open the background refracting panel of the spacecraft to find a hidden space to descend. As soon as Li Haran's command was issued, several vertical launch units on the top of the spacecraft opened instantly, and twelve small folding drones were launched with a swoosh. At the same time, the surface of the spacecraft began to become transparent and slowly disappeared into the sky above this forest. Along with the spaceship, there were also the twelve newly launched Falcon drones that disappeared. Of course, the spacecraft and drones have not really disappeared. Opening the background refracting panel actually activates the principle of light refraction, making the spacecraft and drones visually invisible. At this time, the drone flying out also constantly transmitted a lot of high-dot-definition video images. Looking at the projection of the image in front of him, Li Haran not only saw many ancient trees in the sky, but also discovered some giant animals that he had never seen before. However, at this moment, he did not see any highly intelligent creatures, let alone the traces of humans. With the detection of drones, Li Haran's spaceship also arrived above a valley with sharp walls. There was an open space of about 100 acres under the valley, and after receiving orders from Li Haran, Aochuang slowly lowered the spaceship. The reason why Li Haran landed the spaceship here was mainly for safety reasons. He is worried that there will be similar intelligent creatures here, and hiding in this valley is even less likely to be discovered. As the spacecraft landed, Li Haran once again said to Aochuang, Aochuang, Close the background refracting panel on the surface of the spacecraft, open the rear compartment door, and release the C-1000 machine guards from number 1 to number 12 to alert the surroundings. At the same time, release the machine insects and carefully explore the surroundings of this valley. As soon as Li Haran finished his instructions, a door behind the spaceship was slowly lowered. Click, 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 click. With a faint metallic sound, twelve gray robots, two meters tall, lined up in two rows and walked off the spaceship in sequence. Along with these robots came a group of hundreds of machine crawlers. They are about the size of eggs, and as soon as they leave the back door of the spaceship, they instantly scatter in all directions. Some of them vibrated their machine wings and flew towards the surrounding cliffs, while others instantly burrowed into the grass at the bottom of the valley and disappeared. However, Shortly after the robotic insect was released, Aochuang's voice rang out again. Chapter 2 Discovering Caves You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Co Lois ARA Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 3 High Temperature Cave You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The frozen bead was about the size of a fist with a white surface that looked like a round white pure jade. Since an unknown object has been discovered, Li Haran will certainly not let it go. As his command was issued, 
six scorching red beams also emitted from the eyes of the three robots. Perhaps the temperature of the frozen pool was too low, causing these three machines to cut for a long time before taking out the frozen white beads. At this point, several machine crawlers had also dragged a metal square box to the side of these three robots. The white beads that are currently frozen are still frozen in a square ice block. When the robot takes it, the displayed temperature doesn't seem to be very low either. But as soon as the robot placed it in the metal box and sealed it, the temperature of the cave began to slowly rise. At this moment, on the screen in front of Li Haoran, the temperature, which was originally minus 80 degrees Celsius, was also jumping up at intervals. Obviously, this white sphere, which itself seems to have a relatively low temperature, is the reason for the extremely low temperature in this cave. In order to prevent any bad things from happening, Li Haoran did not let those machine insects return the box containing the ball. He is worried that if this place cannot do without this bead, he can put it back. However, from the current situation, it can be inferred that this white bead is definitely something worth studying. As the temperature of the cave continued to rise, the surrounding white ice gradually began to melt. The ice pool, which was originally sealed with white beads, is now beginning to transform into a liquid state. But what surprised Li Haran a bit was that the amount of thawed water in the pool would be decreasing. You should know that the ice on the surrounding cave walls is also thawing, and all the water has flowed into this pool. As time goes by, the water loss in this pond becomes more severe, and it is obvious that beneath this pond, there should also be a hollow cave. As expected, just like Li Haran's conjecture, when the ice was almost melting, a hot air suddenly rose below the pool. This air also causes the temperature in the cave to rapidly rise at this moment. In no time, the room temperature here skyrocketed to 40 degrees above zero, and this speed has not stopped yet. When it reached 55 degrees Celsius, the temperature increase displayed on the screen in front of Li Haran slowly slowed down. At this point, all the ice in the cave had already melted, and looking below the thawed pool, it turned out to be just an opening. At this moment, there was a red light shining below, clearly the entrance to another huge cave. Meanwhile, robots and robotic insects, who were also not afraid of high temperatures, flew down again. However, as robots and robotic insects delved deeper, the temperature display on the screen in front of Li Haran continued to soar. At this point, the temperature display below has exceeded 80, and it has entered a circular cave similar to the one above. However, this cave is not cold but hot, and the source of those high temperatures is also a small pond in the middle of the cave. However, this pool is no longer an ordinary water source, but a hot and boiling magma. The red light reflected from this hole also comes from this hot pool. At this moment, the robot insect is still drawing a three-dot-dimensional diagram, and the robot has also approached the magma pool. At this moment, through the image transmitted by the robot, Li Haran discovered a bead of the same size in the center of the pool. However, this bead is not only red, but also suspended in the center of the surface of this pool. At this moment, Li Haran commanded robot NO. 1 and reached out to grab the red bead. However, at this moment, the temperature displayed on Li Haran's screen, like the white bead, was not particularly high. Quickly, some machine crawlers dragged the same box and had the robot put the bead inside. The box has just been sealed, and the surrounding heat is rapidly cooling down. Even the magma pool in the middle of this cave has begun to solidify. As this is an insufficiently ventilated cave, when the temperature drops to over 50 degrees, the rate of decline also noticeably slows down. At this point, Li Haoran did not stop to continue his exploration. He only had some machines crawl and send back the boxes containing two different beads in advance. At the same time, Li Haoran also enlarged the 3D projection of the third cave that had been drawn. At this time, although he did not find any gates, he became somewhat interested in the solidified magma pool. Because the roundness of the pond is too neat, as if it was artificially chiseled out. And around the pond, there are square stones similar to those artificially built. 
This also clearly proves that this place cannot be naturally formed. In order to better explore what was underneath, Li Haoran had the machine crawler send in another detector and several probe needles. The main method is to use electric shock to impact the underground and observe the ripples of the rebound to determine the geological layer underground. However, after the first electric shock ended, the feedback of the seismic waves showed that there was still a large hollow geological layer below. However, this hollow area is deeper, at least 500 to 1000 meters away. However, digging down such a deep distance is not an easy task. After all, Li Haran escaped from the disaster and didn't bring any top-notch digging machines. But if we don't explore, it's not his style either. Li Haoran was also a young and promising scientist during his time at Blue Star, and his curiosity about unknown things was innate. Now he can only dig the hole in front and send some small digging tools in, allowing the robot to slowly dig down. At this moment, Li Haoran himself was carrying two boxes sent by a robotic crawler and also entering the small laboratory inside the spacecraft. That is a room of 200 square meters, filled with various high dot precision instruments. However, at this moment, Li Haoran did not open the two small boxes first. Instead, he lay on a chair in the laboratory and said, Ouchuan, activate the W1000 exoskeleton armor and provide me with full coverage. As his command was issued, the chair he was sitting on quickly flattened. At the same time, there were two robotic arms above his head, holding a backpack-like object and slowly lowering it towards him. When this metal backpack was about to come into contact with Li Haoran, it immediately transformed into a mech-like jacket, quickly covering Li Haoran's body. Click, click, click. With a faint metallic composite sound, a set of exoskeleton mecha pierced through Li Haoran's body. However, just as Li Haoran stood up and prepared to move his body, Ao Chuang's voice came again. Master, the unmanned aerial vehicle that went out for exploration has made new discoveries. Chapter 4 Life Danger You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Ko Lois Ara Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 5 Strange Weapons You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Feeling the changes in his hands, Li Haran was also startled and shouted, Ao Chuang quickly scan my body and see where those two beads have gone. Soon, his own scanned image was displayed on the screen, but at this moment, Li Haran did not scan his body and saw any excess substances. All he had at this moment was the temperature difference in his body increasing instantly. Ah ah! This feeling made Li Haran at this moment hesitant to stop practicing in two ways. Due to the constant transformation between these two ways of cultivation, Li Haran can now practice both at the same time. At this moment, the temperature difference in his body also slowly decreased, making him feel an indescribable comfort all over his body. At this point, the screen slowly showed that the result of Li Haran's scan had returned to normal. However, what Li Haran didn't know was that during the previous crisis, time had already passed unconsciously for three days and three nights. Even so, Li Haran dare not relax his two ways of cultivation. He is now very worried that he may encounter dangerous situations again. However, while Li Haran was still nervously practicing, Ao Chuang's voice rang out again. Master, the robots in the cave ahead have already transmitted information that their excavation is approaching the underground cave. Would you like to take a look? Master. Upon hearing that the excavation ahead was almost completed, Li Haran could only stop practicing two methods and quickly arrived at the main hall of the spaceship. At this moment, on the screen of the spaceship hall, Li Haran saw a deep pit dug by the robot with a diameter of two meters facing underground. Obviously, they have dug up to the top of the underground hollow layer and are finally waiting for Li Haran's instructions to dig through directly. When Li Haoran's command was given, the robot also penetrated the final geological layer, revealing a deep black hole. At this moment, all the machine insects flew down, instantly dispersing the darkness below. At this moment, a shocking scene appeared on the screen in front of Li Haoran. Originally, there was a huge cave of about 10 acres below, 
and in the middle of this huge cave, there were two sets of giant bird and beast skeletons lying. These two skeletons look a bit like peacocks on the blue star before, but their colors are a bit different. One set of skeletons appears red, while the other set appears slightly white. In between these two pairs of skeletal bodies, there is also a spear-like weapon that directly penetrates these two sets of skeletal bones. Obviously, this is also the reason for the deaths of these two giant birds. However, the weapon that killed these two giant birds looks very special visually. It has a total length of about 5 zhang and a pitch black surface without any speckles. Even under the strong light of the robot, it is still pitch black without any luster, like this space, with a long gap cut open. Seeing Li Haran here, he also asked one of the C-1000 machines to extend a robotic arm and grab the black spear-shaped weapon. But something even more unexpected happened to Li Haran, because the seemingly pitch-black physical weapon did not seem to exist as a real object. At this moment, its robotic arm has not caught anything at all. However, in terms of visual display on the screen, this weapon still exists. As various instruments scanned it, the result surprisingly surprised Li Haran on the spacecraft. Because according to the data, this seemingly spear-like weapon is actually a void-like substance resembling a black hole. In layman's terms, it's really a missing piece of space in that area, perhaps a black hole in space that has been cut open by something. Li Haoran, who had obtained this result, was excited all over his body. Although Blue Star technology was relatively advanced in the past, there had never been a chance to directly encounter black holes. At this moment, there is a ready dot made black hole in front of him, and as a scientist, Li Haran certainly will not miss this opportunity. At this moment, he said to the screen, Ao Chuang, copy your clone and enter my mech. Follow me into that cave and take a look. Soon, Li Haran left the spacecraft wearing his W1000 exoskeleton mecha. Li Haran's mecha, like a robot, also has an aviation propulsion system. Therefore, with the assistance of the thruster, Li Haran also rose into the air and flew towards the edge of this valley. The entrance to the cave has now expanded, and Li Haran easily flew into the cave. But when he entered the first cave and saw the runes full of holes, he also temporarily stopped walking. Since learning the cultivation methods of these runes, Li Haran also vaguely guessed that this may be a cultivation method similar to internal power. Because there are also martial arts and practicing internal strength in Blue Star, he can easily judge it. Since he has copied all the runes here, Li Haran also does not want other intelligent beings to discover it. Therefore, before leaving the first cave, he instructed some machine insects to scrape away all the cave wall runes here. And not long after, he also arrived at the cave of those two skeletons. At this moment, the cave has also been inspected and it is known that Li Haoran, who is suitable for human survival, has also opened a closed exoskeleton mech inside. He wanted to see with his own eyes what that weapon-like black hole slit was. At first, of course, he tried to touch it with other things, but later found that there was no danger, so he grabbed his own palm directly. The first time Li Haoran touched the black weapon resembling a black hole, he didn't feel anything exist. But as he kept his hand in the darkness, he suddenly realized that the temperature difference energy flow in his body, which was no longer restless, was quickly stimulated again. Feeling this situation, Li Haoran once again practiced those two methods of practicing martial arts. With the operation of his martial arts, the two types of energy in his body also began to stabilize. However, they simultaneously flowed towards the right hand touching the black weapon. At this moment, a strange thing also happened, because Li Haoran could clearly feel that the black black hole weapon he touched was no longer a void, but had a real sense of object. Although this black spear-shaped weapon looks very long, it is not very thick and only has a diameter of 5 centimeters. Therefore, Li Haoran, who was able to touch it, tightly grasped it with five fingers. At this moment, Li Haoran, who clearly felt something in his hand, also took the opportunity to lift the black spear, which was about five zhang long. But his mention didn't matter, and he also made a long cut in the rock wall above Li Haoran's head. 
Chapter 6. Discovering Humans. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. And at this moment, there are still a few stones that have fallen from his head. Due to Li Haoren's exoskeleton helmet being opened at this time, the AI clone in the mech also actively entered a self.defense state. Click, 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 click. With a slight mechanical sound, Li Haoren's exoskeleton mecha was once again fully fitted and sealed. However, at this moment, Li Haoren's eyes were filled with surprise. Because not only did he grab this seemingly weightless spear, but he could also hold it in his hand through the isolation of the mecha. Originally, at this moment, the mecha in the hand was also automatically put on, but the mecha gloves could not touch this black illusory spear. At this moment, the spear, which was about five zhang long, was still held in Li Haoren's hand through the mecha. And while Li Haoren was holding it, the spear continued to shrink, all the way down to about one meter. Watching the changes in this spear, Li Haoren was a bit puzzled at first. But with a slight sensation, he quickly understood. He found out that the reason why the black and void spear became so short was because the two energy flows inside his body, hot and cold, could only extend out about one meter. That is to say, as long as he can extend those two energy flows as far as possible, the black spear in his hand can be as long. Dong, dong, dong. Just as Li Haoren curiously scrutinized his newly acquired black spear, a dull crashing sound suddenly echoed from the stone wall behind him. Although the sound was not too loud, Li Haoren could sense the immense force of the impact at this moment. The reason why the sound heard at this moment is light is because the stone walls are too thick and the sound cannot be transmitted. Looking at the still being impacted cave wall, Li Haoren also issued another command. Aochuang, let the C-1000 robot use electric shock to explore and see what the state of the stone wall is. As the robot's electric shock was completed, a picture was also projected from inside the mask of Li Haoren's mecha. At this moment, the stone wall in front of him was only four meters thick, and behind it, there was also an open area without a stone layer. Is there any creature over there colliding with the rock wall? At this point, Li Haoren also guessed a bold hypothesis. But just as he felt danger, the cave wall in front of him began to crack in an instant, and the phantom of a giant sword flew out of that stone wall. Wow! Immediately after was the sound of the collapse of the stone wall, and human figures flew in in an instant. Quickly, Li Haoren saw clearly that the creatures entering were indeed just like himself, a group of humans dressed like ancient blue stars. These people are old and young, about a hundred or so. Seeing the appearance of these humans, Li Haoren also forgot the danger and his face was filled with excitement. After years of lonely interstellar escape, Li Haoren finally saw similar creatures, which gave him a feeling of rebirth. But at this moment, the other group of people were all stunned when they saw that there were already several metal figures in this cave. Cha-cha-cha-cha. At this moment, an elderly Taoist priest was also shouting at Li Haoren in waves. Due to Li Haoren's lack of understanding of the other party's language, he was also stunned for a while. However, without Chuang's understanding of those sounds, they were quickly translated. The other person was asking them, Who are you, what race are you, and how did you get here? Due to Li Haoren's prolonged silence, the other party did not feel the breath of life, so they set out to search for the giant cave on their own. However, when these people saw the robotic insects, they still looked wary and took out a primitive cold weapon in their hands. Fortunately, at this moment, Li Haoren had already commanded the machine insects to retreat, and these people did not pay attention to the moving metals. When they saw two skeletons on the ground, they all rushed excitedly to grab them. Some even fought fiercely, leaving Li Haoren bewildered at the moment. Because he found that these people could all control weapons to fly around the sky, and some could even stand in the air, like those immortal flying people in the movie watching TV on Blue Star. However, these people look more real and more like the legendary cultivators on the Blue Star. Due to Li Haoren wearing a mecha at this moment, and the three robots that came with him also remained motionless like him, 
the group of people who came in now all thought that Li Haran was a few metal statues. But the black, shortened spear he was holding in his hand still caught the attention of many people. However, when someone came over to pick it up, they all grabbed everything but couldn't find the actual item, so they all chose to leave. But Li Haoran could tell that this group of people loved the bones on the ground very much. After the fight was unsuccessful, they discussed and began to distribute them. Over time, Ao Chuang also deciphered all the languages of these people and developed a new program. Therefore, in the Mecca, Li Haoran could hear the words of these people clearly. From this person's words, it turns out that they are some sectarian forces from the Phoenix Cognant in this area. This time coming to the Phoenix Mountains is to explore the lair of the legendary ancient Phoenix God. At this moment, I saw these two skeletons, which turned out to be the Phoenix they were looking for. This thing seems to be very useful to them, so they are all rushing to get it. Moreover, from their conversation, Li Haran unexpectedly discovered that these people were all cultivators of immortality, and the organizations they belonged to were also sects and forces that cultivated immortality. Is there really a fairy in this world? As a scientist, Li Haran is a complete atheist. But everything he heard and saw in front of him completely overturned his three views. Just as Li Haran was lost in thought, the group of people who were dividing the bones suddenly discovered the cave opening above their heads. This entrance, of course, is also the place where Li Haran just entered. This discovery also revealed a hint of surprise to all of these people. Because the entrance of the cave is clearly newly excavated, it is obvious that someone has already entered, perhaps taking away many good things. Soon, most of the people here were flying towards the entrance of the cave. And seeing these, Li Haran also continued to issue instructions. Let the robots and insects outside quickly retreat to the spaceship, while the spaceship also quickly leaves the valley. Soon, many newly departed cultivators flew back from above. As they returned, they cursed and said, Mad, there are several large holes on top of this, and there is nothing inside. The surface of the outermost cave wall has also been scraped off by someone, which must be a record of the legendary, nine-turn phoenix technique. Dot. Obviously, this group of people chased out from above and didn't see anything. I think that everything in the cave above the roof has already been taken away by people. Chapter 7 Discovered Dark Weapons Again You are listening at Novel Full Audio. However, upon hearing them speak, Li Haran felt a wave of shock in his heart. Because these people say that the runes he scraped off are called Nine Turn Phoenix Technique. Judging from the other person's appearance, it should still be a highly advanced cultivation technique. At this moment, many of the pursuing cultivators flew back, reporting to the old men left inside the cave with a dejected expression on what they had seen outside. As he knew that these people were all here to search for treasure, Li Haran stood there at this moment and dared not move. He was afraid that the other party would find him, thinking that he had taken all the treasures in the cave. In fact, only Li Haran himself knew that he only held two round beads and the strange short spear in his hand. And those two beads have already fused with him, even if he wants to hand them over, he probably won't be able to do it without opening his intestines and stomach. As the other party finished dividing the two phoenix skeletons, Cold Fan was also surprised to find that these skeletons had disappeared out of thin air. They seemed to be all placed in a ring in their hand, but Li Haoran had no idea what it was. Soon, the hundreds of people wearing various costumes turned their attention to Li Haoran and his three robots. Master, the other party emitted a strange microwave, which seems to be a human-enhanced mental power. Should we interfere with it? At this moment, the voice of Ao Chuang suddenly sounded in Li Haoran's ear. After hearing this voice, Li Haoran also looked surprised. He never expected that the other party could amplify their mental power. However, in order to prevent the other party from truly detecting him, Li Haran also spoke up, turn on the plasma protection wave on the surface of the Mecca and prevent the other party from penetrating the Mecca. As the protection of the Mecca opened, the faces of those people also showed doubts. Because their spiritual power is called divine consciousness, 
which can penetrate many physical and mental barriers. But no matter how much exploration is conducted this time, it cannot penetrate the surface of these metal statues. Give it a try with a sword. At this moment, a monk wearing a Taoist robe offered a flying sword and chopped towards the first C-1000 robot. These robots are all made of ultra-high hardness alloy, so when the opponent slashes the surface of the robot with a sword, they only scratch a little paint. Of course, this is also the reason why the other party did not give their all. Seeing how resistant this thing is, these people are also considering starting to distribute it. But after the allocation was made, these people began to have big heads. Because the surface of Liharan's mech and robot had activated plasma protection waves, these people were unable to use their divine sense to bring Liharan and the robot into their strange rings. At this moment, Liharan finally realized that the other party needed to have mental energy to release those strange rings. Although Liharan and the robot cannot earn the ring, these people have never considered giving up. So a few people prepared to carry Liharan and the robot out of this cave. But at this moment, Li Haran couldn't have allowed himself to move away so comfortably. Quickly, he issued the command of gravity attraction again, causing its own weight to tightly attract the gravity of this planet, resulting in a geometric increase in its own weight. These people, in groups of several, worked tirelessly to lift Li Haran and three robots in order to remove the metal statue in front of them. At this point it was not going out from the top of the head, but rather the cave walls that these people had pierced when they arrived. When Li Haoran was just stepped out of this cave, he found that the outside of the cave wall was still a larger cave. But this cave is a bit messy, obviously it has been searched several times by these people. The stone benches and tables that were originally on the ground are now collapsed in all directions. But deep in a corner of this cave, there is also a seemingly extremely dark area. Even though Li Haran secretly commanded the machine insects to scan that direction, it was still impossible to see through what was there. Machine insects are crawling inside this cave, and these cultivators are not too concerned. They all thought that they were just some unknown animals. However, when the robotic insect approached the dark area and transmitted the rough shape of the black area back, Li Haran saw a dark area with a diameter of 3 meters, similar to a circular lid shape. Can this be a shield? Seeing the shape of the dark area, Li Haran quickly guessed what that thing would be. At the same time, Li Haran was also surprised to find a dark area beneath the dark shield. This black body is about three meters long and has a more ape-like appearance. But when the robotic insect touched this creature and the black shield, the result, like the spear in Li Haran's hand, was also in a virtual state and could not touch anything. At this point, Li Haran was also basically certain that those two dark black hole-like masses of matter should be of the same kind as the spear he was holding in his hand. However, while Li Haran was remotely exploring dark matter, he also, with the efforts of those cultivators, crossed several caves and tunnels and arrived at a mountain pass. And the entrance they came out of was more like the gate of a huge tomb. Obviously, these cultivators specifically came here to explore treasures. Kill. Just as Li Haran and the robot had just moved out of the cave entrance, many uniformly dressed black clothed people suddenly emerged from the surrounding mountaintops and sky. At least 200 of these people, as soon as they appeared, killed these hundreds of treasure exploration cultivators. Obviously, they were here to rob this group of people. At once, hundreds of weapons were flying all over the sky with flying swords and other weapons shuttling back and forth everywhere. At this moment, the cultivators carrying Li Haran could no longer care about him. They all offered their weapons and used their imperial weapons to attack the group of black-clothed people. Seeing the scene in chaos, Li Haran also controlled three robots and slowly retreated to the entrance of the cave. When no one noticed him, he quickly turned on the propulsion system and flew towards the depths of the hole. He first arrived at the cave with a black shield and creatures, and ran the magic gates of those two attributes like holding a spear. At this moment, like holding a spear, he also touched both of these things at the same time. At the same time, he also noticed that the black shield, 
like the spear, slowly shrank under his touch, becoming a circle with a diameter of only over one meter. But the black creature that looked like an ape has not changed at this moment. However, these things, like spears, have no quality at all, so Li Haoran can easily pick them up. Bang, bang, bang. And just as Li Haoran curiously scrutinized the things in front of him, the sound of fighting outside the cave also came in. Obviously, the cultivators fighting outside are about to hit him. Chapter 8 Extraverse Organisms You are listening at NovelFull.audio At this moment, Li Haoran also decisively ordered, Ao Chuang, let the robot bomb the exit of this cave and seal all the exits here. While giving instructions, Li Haoran also flew towards the interior of the cave with these dark creatures and weapons. And three C-1000 robots, while following Li Haoran, constantly attacked the openings and tunnels along the way. Bang, bang, bang. As the robots continued to attack the rock walls of the cave, Li Haoran not only retreated back to the valley where he had come, but all the caves along the way were also blown down by them. At this moment, his spaceship has also flown back to this valley under his command. At this moment, Li Haran dare not make too many stops. The strength displayed by those cultivators is not weak. As soon as he flew back to his spaceship, he also quickly left this valley. Along the way, drones were also constantly exploring, and Li Haran's spaceship avoided any places that were uncertain about the danger. Quickly, the data from the drone was transmitted back and a huge lake was discovered ahead. At this moment, Li Haran couldn't help but let the spaceship fly above the lake and slowly sink into the bottom of the lake. Even so, Li Haran still felt uneasy. At the top of the giant tree near his lakeside, there were also many monitors installed. Even next to the spaceship at the bottom of the lake, many robotic insects were released for detection. After confirming his safety, Li Haran began to study the three dark weapons and creatures he brought with him. Li Haran couldn't even tell what the dark spear and shield were. Even spectral scanning is a void. So Li Haran focused his attention entirely on the black creature resembling an ape. What Li Haran can basically confirm now is that this creature has already died. According to Li Haran's speculation, this creature lost its life only after fighting against the two phoenixes in the cave. As for those two phoenixes, he guessed they had two attributes. Hot and cold. The two beads that were previously integrated into one's body are likely the ones left behind by those two phoenixes. Because only when those two attributes of energy appear simultaneously can Li Haran touch the current creature and those two dark weapons. But when Li Haran tested this creature, he found that various detection instruments were also ineffective. Because only by performing the two techniques called Nine Transformations Phoenix Technique on his own can he truly touch this creature. Therefore, at this moment, Li Haran gave up the testing instrument and chose to inspect it himself. He first attempted to dissect it, of course, using the same material spear as the dissecting tool. Because Li Haoran can basically confirm that this weapon belongs to this creature itself. The result of the dissection was actually very smooth, and as Li Haoran thought, the spear really sliced open the body of this creature. However, to Li Haoran's surprise, liquid balls popped out from the cut open part of the creature, clearly indicating that they were its blood. The reason why they appear spherical is mainly because the gravity here has no effect on these blood so their state is like water without gravity. And these blood erupted at a particularly fast speed, filling the entire laboratory in one go. Let the air here be filled with tiny black liquid droplets. Moreover, these liquid droplets are similar to black holes and can slowly penetrate the walls of the laboratory, which surprised Li Haran at this moment. It is almost impossible for him to suppress these peculiar blood outflows at this moment. Because he didn't know if this blood would damage his spaceship, he could only collect the strange liquid flying randomly in the laboratory through measurement. As he had already taken off his exoskeleton mech at this moment, countless tiny blood droplets of air were also sucked into his body. Soon, Li Haoran was surprised to find that his body, like those creatures, began to turn a bit dark and virtual. 
seeing the changes in his body, Li Haoran was also startled at first. He instinctively executed the nine-turn phoenix technique, and soon he made a new discovery. It turned out that when he was running the cold and hot methods, all the strange black blood around him flew towards him, making his body even more illusory. But when he runs the running method gate in the opposite direction and the two types of energy no longer merge at the same time, his body will return to its original normal state. Seeing that he could control his own condition, Li Haran worked hard to use his martial arts to absorb all the surrounding blood into his body. Because Li Haoran was worried that the excessive integration of those peculiar blood into the ship's hull would cause fatal damage to his spaceship. Quickly, as his techniques continued to run, he absorbed all the black blood floating in the laboratory. At this moment, Li Haoran's body also became illusory. All the clothes he was originally wearing also fell off to the ground. And at this moment, as he looked at the creatures on the experimental platform, he could already see the surface of the other person's body, which was displayed more clearly. At this moment, the creature in front of Li Haoran was no longer a black outline, but a well-dot-organized and concave physical body. At this point, as a scientist, Li Haoran couldn't help but speculate. This organism may not have come from the universe it is currently in, but from another world linked to by the cosmic black hole. And on the surface of this organism, there are also some more special symbol texts. At this point, Li Haoran also recorded all of them and presented them to Ao Chuang in a realistic state, asking him to try whether they could be translated. After recording, Li Haoran continued to dissect the body. However, at this moment he realized that the creature had no internal organs, but was enveloped in a dark substance. As soon as the wound is opened, those substances will turn back into black liquid droplets. However, as Li Haran absorbed these water droplets again, the creature also began to slowly shrink. After absorbing for three days, the black creature also turned into black blood and integrated into Li Haran's body. At this moment, Li Haran's body not only felt like that creature, but also had a special sense of the two black weapons, spears and shields. At this moment, he just thought for a moment that those two weapons had automatically flown into his body and completely disappeared. And when he thought about the spear and shield again, the other person appeared in front of him. Seeing such a strange situation, Li Haran naturally classified it as an extraterrestrial organism, perhaps possessing this special characteristic. However, being able to enter his own body made it convenient for Li Haran to carry it with him. However, it was a bit regrettable for Li Haran that the runes previously copied from the body of the black creature were not deciphered by Ao Chuang. Chapter 9 Human Contact You are listening at NovelFull.audio After all, these runes are different from the runes on the previous cave walls, which were created by creatures in this universe and are also related to humans. If dark creatures really come from the outer universe, the laws of the universe there may be different, and computers cannot translate without any prompts. However, at this moment, the drone outside detected a strange ship on the lake and headed towards it. Upon receiving the notification, Li Haran also resumed his physical state by using his martial arts and walked towards the main control room of the spacecraft. At this moment, on the screen, Li Haran saw a metal boat about 20 meters long. But from the above analysis of the appearance, he can basically judge that the people here are still very primitive. Because the driving method is still using sails and artificial sliding blades. Obviously, the humans living on this planet should still be in the era of agricultural economy. However, based on the cultivators he saw a while ago, Li Haran feels that the current situation is also very normal. After all, human development relies on the imagination of countless ancestors to change oneself. When we learn about cultivating immortals, we will inevitably overlook the technological civilization created by technology. And now Li Haran has also learned the cultivation technique, which has aroused his great curiosity. In order to understand the true cultivation culture and civilization here, he also began to learn the writing and language here. With the recordings of the previous cultivator speaking and the text left on the cave walls, Ao Chuang has also systematically integrated a set of learning methods. 
In order to ensure that he had learned correctly, Li Haran also had the drone quietly approach the ships passing by, recording the voices on the ships to understand the living habits of the people in this area. At this moment, he was also surprised to find that the currency used by the people here was actually the same as the gold and silver used by Blue Star in ancient times. The worst coin is square, and the material is also a metal that Li Haran has never seen before. Upon learning about these situations, Li Haran also dispatched many machine insects to collect gold mines nearby. Firstly, gold is also a valuable currency here. Secondly, gold does not need to be extracted separately. Once found, it can be melted into a small piece and used. After more than three months of preparation, the robotic insect not only found some small gold mines, but also collected many small gold nuggets. At this moment, Li Haran also made a shabby wooden boat, picked up a folded mecha backpack, and rowed towards the center of the lake. He wants to stop a merchant ship here and make formal contact with the humans here. Quickly, three large merchant ships with a body length of 30 meters sailed towards Li Haran's small boat. Of course, this was also something that Li Haran had the small drone detect beforehand. Hello, boatman, can you stop for a moment? I got lost nearby, can you give me a ride? Three large ships came over and saw Li Haran with a dusty face and tattered clothes. They also stopped the merchant ship and lowered the ladder to pick him up. As soon as he boarded the other party's ship, an old man of about fifty asked him a few questions. At this moment, Li Haran told the other person with his own prepared words. I come from a dilapidated village in the mountains, and because I wanted to do some errand outside, I walked out alone. Now that he has lost his way here, I hope to meet a kind dot hearted fleet that can take him to a place with people. This old man, I have the strength to work. As long as you can take me to a place with people, I can support myself. Upon hearing Li Haran's pitiful confession, the old man looked at him and nodded, letting a sailor of the same age take him into the cabin. And the sailor also took the initiative to greet Li Haran and said, Brotherly, my name is Wu Xing. You really caught up this time. Our fleet happens to be short of manpower. Otherwise, we wouldn't have stopped to pick you up. Originally, this fleet belonged to a family business called Wan Mao, headquartered in the Tiandu city of the Tianyu Empire not far upstream. This time they went downstream to purchase goods, but due to the urgency of the situation, they didn't even hire enough movers. They saw Li Haran calling pitifully on the lake, so they picked him up. As for whether Li Haran is a bad person, these fleets are not worried. Because they are here to purchase goods, the ships are all empty. The money for selling goods is actually transferred by the bank, so there is not much to be snatched by others. As for these three large ships, it is generally unlikely that anyone will want them, because Wan Mao Trading Company is a famous big family in this area, and there is also a very powerful background behind it. If anyone snatches such a large ship, they won't be able to sell it. At this time, Li Haran also knew from his communication with the other party that the place they were going to this time was called Changjun City, which was also the city of the Tianyu Empire. As for the old man who just asked Li Haran, it's just that the captain of this ship is called Zhu Tianzhang, and they all have to listen to the dispatch of the main ship in the middle behind them. Just like encountering Li Haran halfway through, the other party also needs to shoot a letter to report. The other party's response was not opposed, but Li Haran could no longer stay in the fleet after arriving at Changjun City downstream. I'm probably worried about the possibility of bandits sending spies, and I'm afraid that someone might rob me when I come back with goods. However, the captain on this ship was pretty good, and someone even sent Li Haran a set of ordinary clothes, mainly because they felt that the clothes he was wearing were a bit out of place. Li Haran used to wear modern clothing from Blue Star, but although he had already worn it out, it was still very different from the clothing on this planet. And Li Haran, who had been washed again and changed into the clothes of this place, also became like a scholar. After all, people who have received higher education since childhood have a very different temperament from some ordinary civilians. In addition, Li Haoran was originally quite handsome, so as he stepped onto the deck, 
all the crew members on the ship looked sideways. In the eyes of these people, Li Haran in front of them didn't seem like someone who could do rough work no matter how he looked at him. At this moment, Captain Zhu Tianzhang also showed a puzzled look when he saw Li Haran, who had already been washed clean. At this moment, he also walked up to Li Haran and said, Xiao Li, did you really come out of the small mountain village before? Upon hearing the other party's inquiry, Li Haran replied without hesitation, Captain Hui, I have always grown up in the village. When I was young, I learned some knowledge from an outsider, and later I have been teaching the children in the village. This time I came out to broaden my horizons and see the outside world. Upon learning that Li Haoran was originally teaching in the village, Captain Zhu Tianzhang not only let go of his doubts, but also said with a hint of excitement, Xiao Li, since you are teaching, don't be a porter anymore. Can you help me keep track of the accounts? Chapter 10 Qi Kui's Accounting Ability You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Originally, in the current Tianyu Empire, not many people read and recognize characters. Therefore, young people like Li Haran who can teach and educate are highly respected. Upon hearing the other party's words, Li Haran did not object to their arrangement, so he followed them up to the second floor of the cargo ship. At this moment, Li Haran arrived at a house and found that the over 20 square meter room was filled with bookshelves filled with account books. But in this accounting room, there was only an old man who seemed to be in his fifties, constantly flipping through the ledger in his hand. At this moment, seeing Zhu Tianzhang come in, the old man also exclaimed with a look of grievance, Zhu Tianzhang, with so many bad debts here, how can you let me calculate on my own? I can't do your job alone. When it comes to the next dock, you should let me get off the ship. Upon hearing that the other party was about to give up, Zhu Tianzhang immediately flattered and said, Chen, don't get angry. Didn't I find another young man to help you? We are also old acquaintances. Can you help me with this favor and I'll double the price for you to settle? Originally, every ship of Wan Mao Trading Company had its own captain responsible for finding someone to handle all the business. Usually, as long as a certain proportion is submitted to the commercial bank, the rest is allocated by the captain himself. Due to hiring a professional accountant, it is very expensive in the Tianyu Empire. Therefore, the captain of each cargo ship only asks someone to calculate the accounts when needed. During this period, due to competition between one Mao Trading Company and another trading company, the frequency of round-trip transportation has sharply increased recently. At the same time, it also makes the accounts that have not been calculated by Zhu Tianzhang pile up like a mountain. The old man who accounts for him now is called Qin Yuanqing. He often accounts for different captains, so he has been very busy during this period. This time, Zhu Tianzhang also begged his father to cry for his grandmother, and finally managed to invite him onto his own boat. But there are too many books here, making Chen Yuanqing feel like he can't get busy with each one. Now seeing that Zhu Tianzhang had asked someone to help, he also looked at Li Haran beside him and said, Little brother, what did you do before? Can you do accounting? It's already on the ship now, and Chen Yuanqing just doesn't want to do it anymore. It's not possible to get off the ship now. Instead of waiting on the ship until the next stop to disembark, he might as well try to see if Li Haran can help him. If not, it's not too late to get off at the next stop. And Li Haran said, Sir, I used to teach and also teach people some simple calculation methods. Upon hearing Li Haran say he knew how to calculate, Chen Yuanqing nodded and said, Okay, I'll let you give it a try. If he can't help me much, Zhu Tianzhang, then I'm powerless. Chen Yuanqing is also a cheerful person. He picked up an account book on the table and said, You take notes, and I'll give you the numbers. On the fifth day of the seventh lunar month, 27 tons of gold and 54 tails of silver for shipping, 12 tons of purple stone, with a shipping cost of 30.7 tails of silver. Dot. As the other party kept counting, Li Haran also quickly recorded it. While he finished recording, he also calculated the total profit for each day. Due to Li Haran's fast mental calculation speed, 
he also looked at Chen Yuanxing, the accountant, with a surprised expression on his face. Because Li Haren's calculation speed was too fast, the accounts that were originally supposed to be calculated in writing are no longer needed. Chen Yuanxing didn't know that Li Haren was a scientist from a technological civilization. Without the assistance of artificial intelligence, many advanced function calculations can also be quickly calculated mentally. Such extremely ordinary accounts, not long after, Li Haren calculated them clearly. Seeing Li Haren's mental calculation speed so fast, Chen Yuanxing was stunned in both eyes. He had originally thought that the account book would not be completed in a few days, but now with the help of Li Haren, it has been completed in half a day. During this time, Chen Yuanxing also took a few random checks and found that there were no errors at all. At this moment, Chen Yuanxing also sighed and said, Mr. Li, you have fallen short as a teacher. Why don't you switch to becoming an accountant? With your level of calculation, it's estimated that you will become the number one accountant in Tianyu Kingdom in a few years. Su Tianzhang, who had never left on the side, looked incredulous when he heard Qin Yuanqing say that the accounts had been prepared. Because in the past, there weren't as many books, and it couldn't be completed in half a day. Now that the accountant praised Li Haoren, Su Tianzhang began to be more polite to him. The name Xiao Li has now been changed to Mr. Li. At this moment, while politely bowing back, Li Haren also inquired and said, Captain, I see what kind of gold and stone the things you are transporting here are. I wonder what these are all for. Upon hearing the question, Zhu Tianzhang also politely explained to Li Haren at this moment. One of the main business items of Wan Mao Trading Company used to be raw materials for smelting. And they usually transport those materials from various mineral resources to the headquarters by land and water. While the three of them were chatting, a sailor outside came to report, saying, Captain, Miss asked you to come over and she said she wants to check the accounts for this period. Originally, the young lady from Wan Mao Trading Company also came with the shipment this time. At this moment, the other party is on the main ship in the middle. When Zhu Tianzhang heard that the young lady wanted to see him, he also looked at the accountant Chen Yuanqing and said, Mr. Chen, you know I'm a rough guy. Could you please come with me for a trip? Previously, reimbursement was indeed accompanied by Chen Yuanqing. After all, he couldn't explain clearly whether to let Zhu Tianzhang go and report the expenses himself. However, this time Chen Yuanqing looked at Li Haren and said, Tianzhang, you can let Mr. Li go this time. He calculated all the accounts, and I probably won't be able to explain clearly when I go. Upon hearing the other party's words, Zhu Tianzhang had no choice but to return to the deck with Li Haoren. At this point, the main ship in the middle had also docked with their ship. Under the leadership of Zhu Tianzhang, Li Haoren also walked to the second floor of the main ship. How did you calculate this account? It's not fair to say that you're not the right captain. There are many people who want to be the captain of my left family. Before entering the main room on the second floor, Li Haren heard stern female voices scolding someone. At this moment, a submissive male voice also came from inside the main room, saying, Miss, I've been too busy lately. I won't be able to hire a good accountant for a while, so I haven't finished paying my bills yet. As the man finished speaking, the woman's curse continued to ring. At this moment, not only was there no voice from the man inside, but also Zhu Tianzhang, who had just arrived at the door, was now wiping the sweat on his forehead with a panicked expression. Obviously, these captains were very afraid of the young lady in the room. However, the more afraid Zhu Tianzhang was, the more pointed the voice of the woman inside, saying, Where are Zhu Tianzhang's people? Why haven't they come yet? 